back. We spent the day with cloudy skies and some showers across the region. Taking a live look outside in our regional west weather camera right now in Scotts Bluff. The, the atmosphere is trying to produce some snow showers across the region. It's very dry air, but we think that's going to happen over the next couple of hours with, with just some light amounts across the region. 33 degrees in Scotts Bluff, falling from our high, which was in the early overnight around 51 degrees. So temperatures have been falling through the day with those winds flipping around to a northerly direction around 12 miles per hour. Currently near 30 at Kimball and at Sydney, also at, uh, at Alliance near 30, and so is Shattered and Gordon. But the Hemming Ford area out toward Harrison uh, falling into the mid to upper 20s right now. Here's a look at the winds, mainly from a northerly direction. Wind speeds sustain 10 to 20 miles per hour, maybe some gusts up to 25 miles per hour across the region. Now, notice we do have the strong northerly wind. When we show you the radar, that uh, will affect the uh, radar. But first, we'll take a look at the weather alerts, the eastern third of the panhandle and from the I-25 corridor and points off to the west, we do have winter weather advisories in effect until 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Nothing as of now issued for the bulk of our viewing area. Here's a look at the radar. So a northerly wind, and the stronger the northerly wind is, the worse this uh, effect is. But it makes it look like there's more on the radar than there actually is. Now we've gotten reports, I've been looking at the traffic cameras out toward Kimball and Sydney, and even south of Shadron getting into Sioux County. We got a light dusting of snow on the roads or on the grassy surfaces. Most of the valley locations from Scotts Bluff to Orrington down toward Oshkosh just had rain through most of the day. But we look like we're going to have a heavier band making its way in. So we think there's going to be some light snow amounts over the next few hours uh, in most places. So just keep that in mind as we make our way through the evening. Got this low pressure system over us. Gone is the really warm air. That's moving off to the east. Have a strong northerly wind as a cooler high pressure system works in. Let's take a look at that snowfall potential now. So we think there is going to be uh, some of our viewing area from Scotts Bluff out towards Shadron and Gordon, the Alliance area, and the light blue shading here, including Harrisburg, one to three inches from this one, less than an inch as you make your way off to the south and east of this line, and uh, some portions of northern Sioux County and uh, the higher elevations just north of Cheyenne and between Cheyenne and Laramie could pick up uh, a three to six inch amount out in that direction. So let's take a look at the timing of this event. The heaviest and steadiest snow if you want to call it that, is going to be over the next few hours. We don't think anybody's really going to get heavy snow, just some light snow. By around 11 p.m., temperatures have fallen into the mid to upper 20s, but notice the snow is starting to dissipate, and it tapers off as we make our way through the overnight. By daybreak tomorrow, some of us, especially Scotts Bluff and points off to the west, could be back to uh, clear skies and some sunshine to start off your Friday. Temperatures starting off in the upper teens and lower 20s, and then going through your Friday, sunny skies, mid 40s, so we're cool. We start off Saturday into the lower 30s and by Saturday back to more of a southerly flow with partly cloudy skies and highs back to near 60. So we'll melt that snow that we do have out there. High wind watch in effect from Scotts Bluff points off to the south all the way to the I-25 corridor. And we have a high wind warning west of that from Cheyenne out toward Laramie uh, going into effect uh, Friday night or Saturday morning and lasting through Saturday evening around 6 p.m. Let's take a look at that extended forecast now. 51 for Sunday, partly cloudy, slight chance of showers, and 53 on Monday. We're back to near average temperatures, maybe slightly below average with the uh, uh, lower 50s. But back to 60, a warm day on Tuesday, mostly sunny. The winds die down, 52 on Wednesday, staying dry, partly cloudy through Thursday with a high of 48 degrees. Angel? Thanks, Justin. Turkey time is right around the corner and Americans are planning their Thanksgiving meals. Now the bird flu is still impacting the industry. However, it's only putting a small dent in our supply. Experts say there should be plenty of turkeys for Thanksgiving. Around 8 million turkeys have been lost nationwide. Uh, but, you know, it's around 3% of the market and the way the production cycle works. A lot of the turkeys destined for Thanksgiving are already in the warehouses and en route to the grocery stores. He says wild birds.